Don't reinvent the wheel. That's what all the nerds you follow will tell you. Reinventing the wheel is a waste of time. Just use an existing library. Why are you building your own static site generator for the 14th time? Go seek therapy. These are also common phrases that accompany that piece of advice. I think it's a load of horse crap, especially if you're in the beginning stages of learning a new concept. Let's talk about why. People tell beginners not to reinvent the wheel, and I say beginners should be the ones reinventing the wheel because of how educational it is. First of all, if you're building something from scratch, you're going to learn a lot about how it works and it's probably the best way to learn about anything. A few semesters ago in one of my computer science classes, we were tasked with implementing Malik in C from scratch and it was an incredible learning experience. Sure, we had some hand-holding and there were some guardrails, but it was still mostly from scratch and I learned a ton about how Malik works. If I was never asked to implement it and just asked to use it in some programs, I probably wouldn't have developed that deep of an understanding. Sure, I still couldn't implement it completely by myself today from scratch because I haven't used C in a while, but at least I remember most of how it works. If I was never asked to implement it, I would have zero clue today. Reinventing the wheel is also a great way to develop your problem solving muscles. When you're building something by yourself, when you're forging your own path, you don't really have any safety nets to fall onto. So when you run into problems, you're going to have to solve them by yourself and you're going to run into problems. You're going to run into a lot of problems, but that's a good thing. You're going to struggle through them, figure out solutions yourself, and they're going to nest their way into your mind really deep like a worm. That's a weird analogy, but you get what I'm saying. You're going to remember these solutions to these problems. So when you're evaluating different solutions that already exist, you'll be able to tell the pros and cons in between them pretty easily. And when you run into problems in your own solutions, it might help you find the issues in other solutions, which just makes you a better developer and somebody who has better problem solving skills. My favorite thing about reinventing the wheel is how fun it is. When I'm lacking in project ideas, which is a lot because sometimes I'm not very creative, my favorite thing to fall back onto is build X from scratch. Build your own text editor, build your own compiler or interpreter. I haven't built my own compiler or interpreter yet, but I'm working on it. And if you take one thing away from this video as a reason as to why you should try reinventing the wheel, is that it's fun. Everybody likes fun and I think you'll enjoy it. So if you're somebody who likes building stuff, then every once in a while, try reinventing the wheel. You're gonna learn a lot of cool things and you might even come up with the solution that you like better than existing ones. Still, this advice isn't handed out to be intentionally malicious and there's some good reasoning behind it. If you're writing code for your work, you probably shouldn't be reinventing the wheel. If you're writing code for a project that you really want to scale quickly, then you also probably shouldn't be reinventing the wheel. At that point, just use an existing library or solution. There's probably a great community around that so you can ask for help when you need it and then iterate on something really fast. If for some reason you're not interested in the nitty gritty details or building things from the ground up, I guess that's fine. Then don't build things from scratch. That's what younger me did. But if I could talk to my younger me right now, I would go back in time and force him to build things from scratch because I think it would make me a better developer. So do with that information what you will. Even if you really don't want to do it, at least think about how you would do it, even if you don't end up pulling out your caveman tools to go and hammer and start building that wheel. That's all I really have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, share it with a friend. Anyways, YouTube is telling you to go watch this video. I think that's great. YouTube's recommender algorithm is great. So go check that out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.